What's up, everybody? Welcome in. Got a little live thrift haul, showing you guys what we picked up today at the thrift store. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, make sure you hit that like button. If you're watching on replay, let me know your best sale today down in the chat below. And we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I spent, I think it was, Kayla has the receipt. I think it was a little over 500 today for everything you're gonna see um, in this video. So it wasn't the most we've spent, but we got a pretty good amount of stuff. Some really, really good stuff too. So I'm here for the education. What's up, RZ? Welcome in, welcome in. About to do a little live thrift haul. So again, if you missed the live from today, we actually did it on YouTube this morning. That is up on YouTube right now. You don't have to wait for those videos anymore. They're automatically posted to YouTube. So feel free to go watch. Appreciate all the support, everybody who came out today. And uh, we had like about the same crowd that we had on um, TikTok over on YouTube. So let's go. That's a good sign. Good sign of good things to come. So we're going to get started here in just a minute. Appreciate you guys coming in. What's up, Jen? What's up, everybody? RZ is here. No YouTube live. I'm live on YouTube right now. Just went live on YouTube. Um, what's up, everybody? Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. What's up, Danita? Welcome in. Got... I think like six bags full of clothing, mostly men's today. If you watch Kayla's live thrift on um, TikTok, she really didn't find much today. It was kind of a, a dreary day for the lady section, but that's what's good about her going to lady section and me going to the men's section is we get a good amount of stuff that way. If one person slacks off and doesn't get a lot, the other person still gets a lot. So um, there's been days where I've, I've only got like 15 pieces and then she comes out with like 30 or 40. So it really helps having two people there. Um, sourcing at the same time. So what's up, just me? What's up, Jennifer? What's up, Booty Barbara? What's up, Trisha? Welcome in. Trisha's a little bit everywhere today. Are you eating enough veg veggies? I believe I am. Kayla's got me on like a her new diet. So I am eating more veggies than I ever have before. And I'm going to the gym. I've been to the gym every day this week, chat. Um, we're taking tomorrow off. Tomorrow's my rest day. My arms are killing me. But yes, yes. Where are the Dickens? Um, did you get your shoes? I get them a little bit everywhere. You see all those chat? Look at that. Look at that stack. That's for um, sat Friday or Saturday's whatnot show. I don't know when I'm gonna release those, but good, uh, good stuff. What's up everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Live thrift haul, you're gonna see everything that I picked up today. During the live thrift, you'll see that there's some items that you saw me pick up during the live thrift that I didn't, I, I don't have right now. It's either because they had stains or I looked up comps and the comps weren't really that good, so I left it. Um, what's up, Lily? Uh, why the TikTok uh, live ban? What happened? Quick story again, live ban. Um, I've been banned multiple times in the last month for sale of unregulated goods, meaning TikTok doesn't like people talking about where they sell. I've also heard of other um, people, Chris, for example, got the same live ban. I've heard of other people, even if you say eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari in your videos anymore, they can pull your videos for the same exact reason. Basically, TikTok does not like the competition anymore. They they want to sell everything on TikTok shop, and if people are telling people to go elsewhere to get goods, they don't like that. So um, it's going to be here pretty soon. That I mean, everybody who makes reselling content is going to have that ban. Um, it's really really annoying. There's nothing you can do about it. The same stuff I've been saying for months is now getting me banned. So I've had that ban like four or five times in the last month. Every time I appealed it, it went through. It was perfectly fine. The last time I got the the live ban, it was a permanent ban and the appeal didn't go through and there's nobody you can talk to. Based off terms of service, I haven't broken any rules, but because TikTok is trying to sell on TikTok shop now, um, they don't like resellers talking about eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari. So yeah, that's why you're gonna get banned. It's really annoying. There's nothing you can do about it. Once you're banned, you're banned. Um, I could make a new account and do the TikTok live thing, but to be honest, I'm just gonna keep getting banned over and over. If I talk about eBay right now, there's likely a chance that I could get uh, another live ban. So because of that, I'm not gonna make a new account. You guys will still get my videos there, but you're not gonna see me live. You're gonna have to go to Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. Luckily, I'm not gonna get banned on any of those platforms. So that's what it is. Chris had the same exact ban like a week before. I didn't know it was gonna happen to me so fast, but it did. Um, to be honest, I think it's gonna be a blessing. If you saw the YouTube live today, we had just as many people on YouTube as we typically had on TikTok. And to be honest, I'd rather grow YouTube at this point uh, because longevity of YouTube is going to be better than TikTok, in my opinion, especially with all the bans and stuff that are going on with the government. So I'd rather grow YouTube. YouTube is really good today. Um, if you're a YouTube creator, listen to this. Um, I did a live. I had like concurrent 300 viewers on a live thrift, and I gained 100 and almost 150 subs on one YouTube live. So, and that video is continuously getting me subs afterwards. 
So if you're not making content on YouTube and you're not doing lives on YouTube, you're missing out. They literally just put out a post earlier this week that said lives on YouTube, um, especially the portrait modes, um, are going to pop off. I guess I was on a bunch of people's shorts feeds. So if you're a content creator, I highly suggest looking into YouTube lives. I think they're going to make it basically the same as TikTok lives over the next um, few months. You're going to get a ton of views and attack it while you can because that's going to go away just like it went away on TikTok. I used to get like two, 3,000 viewers on my TikTok lives during live thrifts and that's dropped down to two or 300. So I'm assuming over the next few weeks, you guys are going to see the same type of thing happen. I'm going to get two, 3,000 people on my YouTube lives, which is going to help me boost up my YouTube subs and all that stuff. So if you're a content creator, hear me out on that one. You probably should be doing some lives over on YouTube, especially on your phone. So I'm going to keep doing it. So what do you think about the Mercari updates? Good question. I was going to address this too. I finally got a chance to look at the Mercari updates. I think it's beautiful for sellers. Now, I don't know if the buyers are going to get pissed off because they're paying an extra fee, but for sellers, you guys should love the update. For those people that are complaining about the returns, I can tell that those are the people who don't sell a ton on eBay. Because eBay, I have 30 day returns on all of my items, either buyer pays or I pay return shipping. On Mercari, all the returns are paid by Mercari, no matter what happens. And they only have three days to open the return case. And then once they open the return case, they only have three days to drop off the item. Whereas eBay, they have like unlimited time to drop off that stupid item. So those of you who are mad about the Mercari updates, it's probably because you don't sell a ton. That's that's my, that's my uh, opinion on that. Because when I saw the updates, after I read it all, it's beautiful. There's zero selling fees. I think there's only a transaction fee now. Buyers can open returns but they only have three days to open the return from the time it's delivered and three days to drop it off. It's beautiful. Now, I don't know if that's gonna hurt our sales because now the buyers are paying that extra fee, but to be honest, it's a really good, it's a really good change for sellers. Um, we'll have to see over the next few weeks like if sales go up or down depending on it, but now you might be able to list your items a little bit lower on Mercari because you don't have a seller's fee. So in my opinion, it's great. I've seen a ton of people complaining about the returns those are the same people that complain about eBay returns. I have open returns on eBay. I have two open returns right now for fit issues. So what? Um, every place, every brick and mortar store that sells online usually has some type of return policy. So if you're mad about a return policy, it's simply because you don't sell enough. That's my, that's my opinion. So yeah, 0% seller fees is beautiful. I like it. So Mercari is now charging direct deposits. Yes, $2 direct deposit fee. Again, people that are complaining about having to pull out your money. I pull out my money every week or every two weeks. So if there's 56 weeks, 56 weeks in a year, what is that? $112 you're going to be charged to pull out your money as opposed to getting charged the 10% and the 10% uh, seller fee. You are making more money whether or not you like it or not. You're making more money with a $2 fee. Unless you're selling stuff that only sells for $5, you're going to be making more money. Um, so I don't really mind that either. Just yeah, 52 weeks. Sorry. Yeah. 52. What did I say? 56. Yeah. So you're 104, $104 for the year. Big, big deal. 104 bucks. Again, you literally just went from paying 10% for every item sold to paying $2 to pull out your money, pull it out every two weeks. If it's that big of an issue, treat it like a paycheck. Every two weeks you pull out your money and it's not that big of a deal. You're making more money in the long run. So, um, again, yeah, I know 50, 52, I've said 56, my bad. But yes, uh, you're making more money. In my opinion, it's good change for sellers. Again, I don't know how the buyers are gonna react to it, paying that extra fee. You might get a lot of messages saying, why are my fees so high now? I used to buy on here all the time. Um, I think buyers will get used to it. And as sellers, we're gonna get used to making more money on the platform. I don't make that much money on Mercari anyway at this point, so it doesn't really affect me. If it was something like eBay did this, then it would be like all over the place. But to be honest, I don't think it's that big of a deal, so. Isn't the fee over $10? I think it's for everything. I could be wrong about that, Leah, but I think it's for every single transaction you pull out um, and direct deposit it, you have a $2 fee. But I could be wrong. I haven't read really, really deep into it. I've just been watching videos and I kind of skimmed through and read all everything. So yeah, I, I like I like the changes. For every, I might make a video on this, um, even though everybody has a video on it now. I might make a video on it just to explain my point of view on it, but um, I think it's good. I think it's gonna be good for everybody. I think people like to complain and then when they really think about what they're complaining about, they realize that it's it's probably better that they don't complain because <laughs> you're making more money. Why would you complain? You went from paying 10% to paying a $2 fee. Like, eh, I don't know.
but there you go. That's my opinion on it. Next up, or first up, we got it. Oh, let me flip. How do I flip this? Can you guys see? Do I flip it like that? Nope, that's how I flip it that way. Are you guys seeing the label the correct way? I know you guys are up here. Is Instagram seeing the label the right way? I think you guys see it reversed automatically, right? If not, I'll just describe it. I hope it is. I hope it's the right way. Anyways, I'll start talking about it until people respond. Um, LL Bean, LL Bean, chamois shirt. Um, I paid, cool. Um, I paid $5 for this one. What tag wasn't half off? I think it was green tags. Green tags were not half off today. Everything else was 50% except for red. I don't think I picked up any red though. Um, so this would have been 50% off, $5 for an LL Bean chamois shirt. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna list that. I might hold it till next season. No, backwards on IG. I don't know if I can switch it on IG though. I don't think I can. I'll just I'll just describe it. If you guys want to see what it looks like, um, hop over to YouTube or Facebook because they got it the right way over there. Unfortunately, I don't know how to spin it on IG. I don't think there is a way to spin it on IG. Next up, we got a Denim and Supply. It's a Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. I only paid five dollars for this. Nice like mid-weight flannel shirt. I normally get right around 20 to 25 plus ship on these, so I always pick them up. They're quick sellers. Same with my Ralph Lauren pieces. So yeah, it's correct on YouTube. Unfortunately, it's not on um, Instagram, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, next find, I picked up a lot of sweaters today. You're gonna see me pick up a lot of sweaters over the next few months because they're starting to price them down. This one was a Dry Joys by Foot Joys, and it was only $7.50 nice little zip up and this is like a cotton zip up jacket and then it also has the foot joy hit on the back 750 um come next winter i should be able to get somewhere around 25 plus ship for that um i'm not going to list that yeah i'm going to list it next winter i know that sounds weird but um we're heading into summer and i, I want to focus on summertime items listing instead of wintertime items are you still selling on whatnot? I am. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, we're going to have two massive whatnot shows. Instead of doing one on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think we're just going to do them on Friday, Saturday, and sometimes on Sunday. It just works out better with our sourcing schedule, and then I can focus on making videos. And I really want to focus on growing YouTube now that my TikTok was uh, live banned. I want to focus on growing YouTube, so I'm going to use that time to uh, make some YouTube vids. $7.50, just a simple little untucked shirt. This one has a good pattern on it. If it was plain, I wouldn't pay that much for it. But with the pattern, it should sell for around $22.99 plus shipping. Yeah, I got shows almost daily. I used to have shows almost daily. We're kind of we're kind of uh, moving away from the daily shows just because it was really hectic. Um, it was hard to do the daily shows. Next up, really, really good find. This is a Ralph Lauren. It's a newer label. It's a size 3XB. Um, I paid up for this. I paid $12.50 for it, but it's a 3XB. It's a really, right, 3XB? Yeah, 3XB, really, really good size, and it's a nice summertime short sleeve pattern. This is easy, like 35, 40, maybe even more on that one because of the size, so I do not mind paying up for a piece like that. That is gonna get listed ASAP because these are starting to move pretty quick for me, so I'm gonna list that probably tomorrow. How do you know what the price thing's at? You can look up sold comps on eBay. So for example, for that shirt, you can look up similar ones on eBay. Type in Ralph Lauren men's 3XB Hawaiian shirt floral, filter for used and filter for sold, and you can see exactly what they're selling for. You can also see how many are listed and how many are sold so you know how fast they're gonna sell. Just understand right now, if you're looking up summertime items, 90 days ago, it was winter. So when you look up those sold comps, you're gonna see that there's not a really great sell through rate, but over the next few months, the sell through rate will increase because obviously we're heading into the summer months. So just keep that in mind. Sell through rate isn't always the end all be all, especially when you're moving seasonal items on the new season that's heading in, that we're heading into. What's up, Liv? Welcome in. Um, list your clothes, climate clothing. People are still buying. I do have a ton listed. I'm gonna focus on listing pieces like this instead. Um, because I have so many of them, I have them in storage too. And these are gonna sell like hotcakes here pretty soon. You wanna catch, it's always, uh, when you list clothing, the beginning of summer and the beginning of winter is always the best time to have the winter and summer items listed because that's when everybody buys their new wardrobe. So right now I'm focusing on the short sleeve stuff because in the next few weeks, those are gonna start selling like crazy. And the people who don't have them listed are gonna hate it because They'll start listing them after the rush happens. You're still gonna get sales, but you want them listed like right when that initial rush happens. 3XB on this one, again, Ralph Lauren Hawaiian shirt, really, really good print to this one. Same as the other one, and I'm gonna get that listed ASAP. 
Um, wouldn't that also impact comp pricing? Yes. So if you see something already has good comps and it's like a summertime item, then you're going to know that it's going to sell for even more or faster come summertime because we're not in that summertime um, trend yet. Summertime selling trend. Next up, we got another Ralph Lauren. I believe this is a rayon Ralph Lauren, which is even better. And again, it's a men's size 3XB. I paid twelve fifty or I paid fifteen for this one, um, but again, it's rayon and it's a really, really, really good print, um, all over like beach scene design on this one. I'm assuming this one is at least fifty bucks. I didn't really look up comps, but fifty bucks on that one should be a no-brainer, especially for a three XB. What's up, coexist? Um, next up, coexist is a longtime follower on IG. Next up, another Brooks Brothers. This is uh, Simple Brooks Brothers. I paid $6.50 for it. The only ones I pick up are the ones with the embroideries on the chest. Um, these typically sell for around $22.99 for me. So pick that one up. I'll list it for $22.99 plus ship. All the prices I'm giving you, by the way, are all plus shipping prices. Everything plus shipping. I picked up a ton of Ralph Lauren today, and a ton were really great sizes. This is another 2XB, not a 3XB, but a 2XB. Um, and I only paid $6.50 for this. Bigger sizes always sell better. Extra tall and extra big sizes are rare, so they always sell for more. So I'm gonna list this one for probably around 30 plus ship, uh, maybe a little bit lower, maybe 27.99 plus ship, somewhere around there. But yeah, good good profit margin on those, and they always sell super fast because there's less of those listed. Peter Manning, it's a no-brainer pickup. I did pay full price for this, eight dollars. It is a really good brand. I know you guys are backwards, sorry. It's a really good brand, Peter Manning. I have to look up comps on these. I think these are still selling for around 35 to 40. Um, again, no brainer for $8. I've sold a pair of these like um, about six months ago. I haven't found a pair since, so I really don't know what comps are, but I know at $8, it's an easy pickup. Were that a buy online than going in person? Correct, they would. And also I've been to outlet stores like Ralph Lauren outlet stores, and some of them don't even have big and tall sizes. So the only way for them to buy in some areas is to buy online. You can't really buy in store. So um, what does the big uh, the B mean? It's 3XL big. So you have 3XL tall, which means it's a taller garment. They, they add a little bit of fabric at the bottom. Big means it's wider. So they instead of adding it this way, they add it this way for the 3XL B. It's more of like a bigger around the stomach fit for all those big boys. Don't worry, I'm a big boy too. I'm sorry, just joining. Do you have, do you list auction or buy it now? Everything is buy it now, best offer. I hardly ever list anything auction. If you go to my eBay store right now, I have zero auctions active currently at this time. Everything is buy it now, best offer. So appreciate all the questions. Keep the questions coming. As, um, as I'm showing items, I'll keep trying to answer as many as I can. Um, appreciate you all being here too. We have over a hundred peeps hanging out tonight. So we appreciate you on all the platforms. I picked up a ton of these. I'm going to go through them super fast as I pick them out, but these are LL bean, but they're flannel lined. The flannel lined LL bean jeans come winter time. These sell like hotcakes. People love them because they keep you a little bit more warmer. Um, obviously with that flannel lining, um, I paid full price eight bucks. I'm cool with it. Sometimes I find these for four or five bucks here in Florida because nobody in their right mind is buying flannel line jeans in Florida at any time of year. These are way too hot for people to be wearing, but especially in my area, maybe North Florida, but in my area, nobody's wearing these. Um, so these always sit on the shelves. They always go half off, but at this price, it was a good price. So I decided to pick them up. Um, those are gonna be listed winter time. I'm gonna separate all those out because I have a ton of them. So thrift into the moon, what's up? You're the best. I got another pair. Again, I'm not gonna get too deep into these. $8 is what I paid. Um, and I got a whole mess of them. So if you watch the live thrift in the beginning of the live thrift, you'll see me pick up all of these jeans. And again, that is posted to YouTube right now. You can go rewatch it at any time. But yeah, all these were sitting right next to each other on the racks, eight bucks a piece. I think they're all the same size or maybe there are a couple that are different sizes. Um, but yeah, it's a no brainer. Pick those up. Are they women's? No, they're men's. I believe even if they're women's, they're still a good pickup. Um, here's another pair of jeans. These I'll list. Um, I'll see how well these sell if I pick them up anymore. South Pole used to be hot. Um, they've kind of fallen off a little bit. Um, I paid $10 for these, but they're a bigger size. They're a size 46. And these are moto jeans. So you see that, that ribbing on the knee. Typically those go for a little bit more. Um, I'm going to test these out and see how fast they sell. If they don't sell fast, then I'll, I'll let you guys know. 
so you don't go run out and pick South, South Pole jeans. But South Pole jeans, like six months ago, were selling. If you find the old vintage ones with the embroidery on the back, they still sell for really good money. Some of those go upwards of 100 bucks for South Pole jeans. I know that sounds absolutely bonkers, but go look up comps there. Some of them 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 bucks. So you've been hitting the gym, K-Way? I have been hitting the gym. Um, you don't see any results yet. My arms are killing me today. <laughs> Kayla's been forcing me to go to the gym. Actually, she didn't really force me. I decided to go to the gym. Now that we're not doing whatnot shows midweek, I have some extra time. So we've been spending like an hour in the gym every day. Feels good to get back in the gym. Um, do you send offers to watch it on eBay? I use Auto Posture to send out all my offers for me. And yes, automatically, if a, um, if a buyer um, watches an item, within 15 minutes, Auto Posture sends a 10% on offer to that person um, on all platforms, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So... I'm feeling good. How you feeling? Um, Ronaldo. Ronaldo in the chat. What's up, Ronaldo? I'm feeling good. We had a good thrift haul today. So why the slowdown on whatnot? It was getting too crazy. Now with the TikTok ban, also, I don't have a way to advertise as good as I did before. Like right now, I probably have like 300 people watching me if I was on TikTok. So it's going to affect the numbers. So we're trying new things out. Like Friday and Saturday, we're going to do two massive shows with like big, huge giveaways. So if you're not following on whatnot, make sure you're following. I think we're going to give away a pair of Yeezys and a pair of Jordan 4s um, for the buyer appreciation giveaway, the big buyer appreciation giveaway. And then throughout the show, we're going to give away $25 gift cards as buyer appreciation giveaways. And then also throughout the show, we're just going to have regular giveaways for everybody hanging out. 150 items, um, 100 to 150 items, both Friday and Saturday. If you see that rack behind me, that's just a full rack of like really, really great stuff. I know you guys can't see it, but over here, full rack of really, really great stuff. Also, we have um, Jordans that we got in. I know you guys can see that. Jordan 1 Lowe's, brand new in box, all really great sizes. I got a full size run from 10 to 12 on the Jordan 1 Lowe's. So we're adding those into this um, shop along with new shoes. So we're having like a big, I think the bigger shows are going to perform better and then it's going to be easier for us too because we only have to do two shows instead of doing five shows so we're going to test it out for a couple weeks see how it does so um full-time ban on um on uh tiktok yeah it's a full live ban i can't go live on tiktok anymore um how specific do you search on ebay for comps example blouse brand depends on the item and depends on how niche down I want to get. If I find like a rare Ralph Lauren shirt with a crazy print, I might add a bunch of keywords in there to try and to find the exact comps. Um, for example, if I'm looking up a size, so I want to see exactly how 3XB Ralph Lauren Hawaiian shirt sell, I will put 3XB Ralph Lauren floral Hawaiian shirt. Get get down in there. Don't just put Ralph Lauren because it's going to pull up everything. Sometimes you got to add a couple more keywords in there. Uh, what happened that sucks I, I addressed in the beginning um, i got banned for sale of unregulated goods which means tiktok does not like anybody talking about ebay poshmark or mercari anymore so that's why i got that ban basically i've been doing the same thing for years and now it's against the rules to do it so um, that's why i'm not making a new account next up we're going to list this um, next winter this is an ll bean it's an older label and the inside liner is a wool blend so wool blend inside liner has the big metal buttons on it it was full price at 13, but this is a full like parka coat. Really, really long snap button, wool lined, just a basic um, like outdoor coat. Those sell really, really well in the winter time, especially the wool lined ones. No, you're good. You're good. It happens. That's why I'm not making a new account. I'd rather focus on growing the YouTubes anyway. So that's why we did a live on YouTube and it was super successful today because all you guys came out and supported. And again, that's up on YouTube right now if you want to go watch it. North Face, you guys remember at the thrift store, these were literally like 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks. They're starting to mark them down. So they used to be 30, now they're at 25 and nobody's buying them. So now this one was half off at 12.50. I did pay up a little bit more for this one than I usually do, but it's a men's size 2XL. So that's why I did that. It's a good size. I didn't want to have it sit because I knew it would sell to another reseller. So I picked it up come winter time. These are easy, like 40 to 50 bucks on our whatnot shows. Um, people really love those Denali jackets, especially the solid black ones. So have you ever had shoes bringing up bugs um, from the thrift? No, I know a lot of people like are like, don't you have like bed bug? No, I've, I've never had an issue with bed bugs. Um, I've never had an issue with lice, nothing like that, never. Um, I'll say it, I'll say it, I say it all the time. Bed bugs do not like clothing that is hung up. Bed bugs like secluded, 
like areas that um, don't move a lot. That's what they want. And they want to be able to feed on a host over and over again. So a thrift store usually is in that spot unless there's like a big mound of clothing in the corner of the thrift store. But again, once that item ends up on the racks, the bed bugs usually go back to where they came from. So you don't really have an issue with bed bugs. Um, I've never heard of anybody having a major issue with bed bugs. This is a shoe and I was looking for Ethan. I couldn't find him. I was going to give these to him. I looked up comps and these look pretty good. So these are called geese wine. Geese wine, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, these are wool like clogs. Um, I looked up comps on these. They look like they're going for anywhere between 30 to $60 plus shipping. And I only paid um, $4 for these. And they look to be in minty minty condition like the bottoms look to be barely worn that's actually the marker from the thrift store and it even has the sticker on the inside um so i'm not going to list these as new but these are in minty minty condition um so i'm definitely listing those um, i had a feeling when i found them at the thrift store that that was a good brand i think i've heard of it before i asked you guys somebody said it was good i looked it up afterwards it ended up being really good so we took it i'm a, uh, i'm gonna going to turn the tiktok question into a drinking game oh Every time somebody asks about TikTok, you'll be drunk. Post a photo of a bed bug on clothes in the thrift store yesterday. I know I saw that photo. Chances of getting that is like slim to none though. That's like a one in a million chance of finding one of them. I saw that photo actually this morning when I was on the way to the thrift store. Next up, some ladies items. Forgive me, um, um, but I don't like talking about ladies items. So this is a Viore. Shout out to the reseller. I don't know what your name is. I'm gonna greet you next time I see you. Um, but this is a Viore set. So this is a ladies Viore pair of shorts. And then you also have the Viore tank. We did pay up for this at 30 bucks, but um, together I think we can get around 60 to $70 plus shipping for both of these um, in the same listing. It sucks because one's a small and one's a medium, but I don't think that'll really cause an issue. Um, but yeah, that was a good, that was a good, uh, well, I didn't find it. He just gave it to me. So shout out to you for giving me those. Um, also, if you see anything you like in this video, make sure you reach out to me. I'll sell it to you cheaper than we sell it on platforms. So something like that, I will let go for like $45. Um, you can even just build the following on a new account only to use to promote your whatnot shows. There's no point. I'd rather I'd rather go grow YouTube, to be honest. Um, I get why everybody wants me to make a new account, but I just have no ambition to have to log in and log off of one account to another. Also, if you know how TikTok works, when you go live, it boosts your videos. So if I don't have any videos on that account, I'm only using it for live access. It doesn't make much sense. $5 for this one, Ralph Lauren, really good print. Um, nice like Easter colorway. We're gonna get this listed tomorrow. It might sell super fast because of that colorway. If not, they still sell year round for good money. $22.99 plus ship. When you say look up comps, um, where do you look up those? You go on eBay. So you go on eBay, you can do it on your phone or you can do it on the computer. You type in the item you're looking at, try to be as descriptive as possible, filter for used and filter for sold. You can see exactly how many are listed and how many are sold. $4, just a simple LL Bean flannel shirt. These I normally get anywhere between 18 to 22.99 plus shipping. Um, not a huge seller, but they're nice bread and butter items. Easy to list, easy to ship. Next up, Orvis. This is an Orvis vest. It's a full zip. I only paid $5 for it. Um, these are the nice like quilted Orvis pieces. The only thing I wish it had was a patch right here, which would be considered a shooting shirt or shooting vest, um, but it doesn't have one. Either way, this should easily sell for like around uh, 20 to 25 plus ship. We're gonna list this now because it's still cold up north. And even if it gets a little hot outside, it's still cold in the morning and people rock vests all year round. I found James Purse full sweatsuit at Value Village. Um, still had no bites, I'm surprised. Cost me six bucks, really good brand, James Purse. I don't find it too often, it's a good find. That is a good find. Um, Ralph Lauren, um, $7.50 for this one. Nice little Ralph Lauren button down, $22.99 plus ship on that one. I found a ton of Ralph Lauren today. It was a good Ralph Lauren thrifting day. Another one, this one's even better. It's a size 3XB, um, I only paid five dollars for this one and it should sell for this one should sell for a little bit more 25 to 30 plus ship because it's that big and tall size yeah what the hell is this brand new spanx something oh is this like a i don't know what the hell this thing is this this ladies this is what kayla picked up uh for 750 it's brand new i don't want to talk about it <laughs> 
Definitely a Kayla pickup, not not a me pickup. Uh, next up, I don't go on the ladies' garment section, that's for sure. Uh, North Face. We got a North Face. Um, 650 for this one. Nice heavyweight flannel. Um, this might go in the winter pile, though. It's too heavyweight right now. Uh, maybe we'll list it. We'll list this one, see how well it does. Um, but uh, 650 not bad for a North Face. Again, in the winter season, that was being listed at that store for 25 bucks. They finally, like started dropping all the winter pieces down to 13. So um, how do I get a hold of you? You can DM me on Instagram is the best way to get a hold of me. If you DM me on Facebook, likely a chance I won't see it. Uh, my DMs on Facebook right now, I probably have like over a thousand unread DMs. I need to eventually get to them, but trust me, it's gonna take me forever. So yeah, what's up Amy? Welcome Amy, Amy. Amy's here everybody. All right. Um, more Kayla finds. This is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren dress. It's a size 1X and it's a really good print. Definitely a nice summertime dress right here. Nice paisley print. Um, we only paid $7.50 for this. Nice, nice print on that one. She was, she was kind of like, uh, she was thinking not to pick that up. I was like, no way, pick that up. That's a really good pattern on that. Is Polo Ralph Lauren better than Ralph Lauren? No, no. Ralph Lauren just depends on the print, all that good stuff. Um, but one's not better than the other in most cases. Uh, $5 for this. These are Free People Movement um, shorts. They are a women's size medium. Women's size medium, like a cloud kind of pattern on these, like a blue and white. Nice little pickup. Bread and butter. How do I find comp section on eBay to see what prices are being sold? You go to eBay, you type in your item at the very top. If you're on the computer to the left, you go down and you hit sold. It's on the left-hand side. If you're on your phone, there's a filter button on the top right-hand corner, and then you hit filter, and then you hit sold. Um, easiest way to find them. Um, six bucks for this. This is a, I believe a, oh, it's an Athleta. Athleta bra. Um, six bucks for these. Easy peasy. Um, this is a bigger size too. So bigger, bigger bras typically typically sell better. Don't ask me how I know that. I'm um, talking about tagging people. Just use the at and tag their name here. Yes, you can tag people if you want. I don't I don't know if people tag on uh, on YouTube, but feel free to tag a friend if you want to. That would be pretty cool. Next up, Lily Pulitzer. Just simple Lily Pulitzer dress. It's a women's size XL. 15 bucks is what we paid for it. It's pretty cool. It's got like um, smoochy, smoochy lips all over it. Um, Kayla was again, she was on the fence about picking this up. I was like, no, pick it up. It's a good a Lily dress. It's like a summery dress too. Um, nice like, um, I can see like a night on the town kind of dress right there. So easy pickup. I'm here to time out people. Let's go. You guys got mod powers, mod powers. I uh, got another pair of South Pole jeans, paid 10 bucks for these. Again, I'll let you guys know how these are still selling. Um, bigger size. And these are not moto, but they're a nice like acidy wash to these. Um, so I'll let you guys know how they sell. If they sell super fast and I'll tell you guys to pick them up. If not, we won't pick up South Pole anymore. Next up, we got a pair of women's good American jeans. These are a size 1030. They are, they were only $12 and 50 cents and they're brand new at tags. And they're like a longer style, like a super, super long, like almost like a bell bottom, good American jean. So I'm sure the style does good. I know the longer ones typically sell better because the girls like to roll them up a little bit. Um, I list jeans year round, so those are gonna get listed ASAP. Largest, largest sizes do typically sell better um, in most cases, yes. Um, 3XBs, 2XLT, stuff like that always sell good. What's up, R? Uh, next up, 650 for this one. It's Tommy Bahama. Um, nice summery dress. This will probably end up on a whatnot show. Nice little summery, stretchy polyester, zip in the back. Nice little Tommy. Do my first whatnot show tomorrow. Do you have any advice? My advice would be advertise it as much as you can before you do the show. Um, and if you haven't done much advertising, don't expect a ton of people to be there. Just get on live, talk as much as you can, try to fill in the gaps, have items running at all times. Try to have items running literally at all times. Like as soon as you're done running one, have another one ready to go. Have your items racked or if you're doing um, vintage, like if you're doing games or something like that or t-shirts, have them all racked, have everything in front of you ready to go and then keep the auctions rolling, that's my advice. Everybody likes a smooth auction instead of somebody that's like wandering around trying to figure out what they're going to run next. $10 for this. This is a men's Jay Lindbergh. Good golf brand to look out for. And it does have the big spell out hit on the back, which is always really good. 
Um, solid black polos typically sell really well too. So that one's gonna get listed ASAP, 25 to 30 plus ship. Harder brand to find too. And we got another one of those Spanx, brand new at tag. This is like a slip or under tank. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's brand new, um, it's 750, Kayla picked it up. Why does she have me tell people about those? Where are you at, Kayla? You're probably in the chat right now laughing. That's what you're doing. Uh, next up, next bag. This bag is full of jeans. It's probably all the L.L. Bean jeans. So another L.L. Bean flannel line jean. $8 on those. Let's see what else is in here. Um, got another South Pole pair of jeans. Brand new. Body shaper, that's what it is. Okay, shapewear. Shapewear, nice. That's what they're called. Um, $10 for these South Pole. These are also Moto South Pole, and they're a bigger size. I think they're a 46. Um, so again, we'll list those, let you guys know how they sell, how well they sell. Another pair of LL Beans. Flannel lined, $8 LL Bean jeans. Easy pickups. I love selling those. And another pair of South Pole. These are a little bit of a smaller size, but these were cheaper. These were only $6.50. So these are a no-brainer for $6.50. Um, I don't like paying upwards of $10 for these, but Moto South Pole jeans, um, easy pickup. Those are going to get listed. By the way, all this stuff should be listed by this weekend because um, I'm going to lay it in the pile for mom to list. So all this should be listed. Um, another pair of L.L. Bean flannel line jeans for eight bucks. No brainer. Last two bags. Let's go. Um, how do you put people in timeout? You tap on their name, I believe, Amy, and then it says timeout. It gives you an option to ban or timeout. I learned that today. That's a fun little thing that TikTok never really had. They had mute, uh, but they didn't have a time limit. You just muted them for the live. Next up, Ralph Lauren XL. Just a nice, simple, striped Ralph Lauren. Um, I paid $7.50 for this one, $22.99 plus ship. Another Ralph Lauren. Um, $6.50 for this one. This is an older label as opposed to the last label you saw. This is the older Ralph Lauren label. They still sell well. $6.50. Nice plaid pattern to this one. Um, should be $22.99 plus ship. And then this is the newer label. So um, this is a men's XL. That's what the newer label looks like. Um, $7.50. Yeah, 750, really, really nice pattern to this one. I'll probably this one, this one, this one, list this one a little bit higher, probably around 25 plus ship, just because the pattern's really good on that one. You just tap on the person's name and it'll be the at them. There you go. It won't let me type your at, spell out the first name, room, name will pop up. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Do you take offers on those? No, I normally price them $22.99 um, um, plus shipping, and then I don't take offers on them. This is a good one. I don't normally pick up the Polo Ralph Lauren Polos unless there's something special about it. This one has something special. It's a 4XLT. Um, I paid only $6 for this. So it was full price, but it's a 4XLT, big and tall size. Um, I'll probably list that one for around 20 to 25 plus ship. Thoughts on Carhartt these days? Simple Carhartts are not usually a pickup. The Carhartt jackets, the lined ones, stuff like that are always gonna be a pickup. Um, but the simple Carhartt t-shirts, simple Carhartt button down, short sleeves, I normally leave them behind. I don't pick them up anymore. Uh, next up, uh, North Face men's size large solid white fishing shirt. Um, solid white fishing shirts are actually some of the best selling fishing shirts. Um, people really, really like the solid white ones. This one's in minty condition. There's no flaws on it. It does have the vent in the back. I'm going to list this one for around 25 plus ship. Um, it should sell really fast because solid white ones, especially in good condition, are super hard to find. Uh, thank you, Kayfrey, for what you're doing. Found your channel. Appreciate you uh, being here. Appreciate you. We're doing this every single week. Men's size XL. Um, it's a Robert Graham. I don't normally like paying up this much for Robert Graham polos, but this one has a super, super loud pattern to it. Um, these typically sell better. Um, this might end up on a whatnot show, but typically we get around like 35 ish on these on eBay. Um, they do sit for a little bit, but you should be able to get 35 just based off the pattern. Good show for worm guts. Um, what's it like hotcakes uh, beginning of boating season? Yes. Yes. The solid white ones, the PFGs that are solid white too. Columbia doesn't sell except for the PFGs that are white. Those actually sell decently well too. Don't tell Barry D I said that. Um, Men's size extra large Harley Davidson short sleeve. 
Um, it's got the metal buttons on it. It was 10 bucks. I paid up a little bit for it. it does have the patch on the front too. Um, so I don't mind paying up for those. That's like 25 to 35 plus ship. How do you decide what to take offers on or not? Um, typically everything is best offer in my store except for the Ralph Lauren pieces um, because I don't have a lot of room for margin on those. I'm only making like a $10 profit usually on those. So I don't like giving best offers. People will offer you like $15 on something you have listed for $22 or $10. I'd rather just not play around with that. List it for $22.99. No best offer and somebody just has to come out outright and buy it. Um, what's your feelings on Ralph Lauren dress shirts as opposed to the regular um, dress shirts? Like these, this is, this I would consider a dress shirt, right? Um, it really depends on the size, the pattern, the fabric. That's all that Ralph Lauren you really have to look into. Like this is a good, um, decent size. It's a men's size large. It's a newer label and it's got a super nice pattern to it. So this is a pickup all day long. If you can get them cheap, I try to buy them anywhere under $8. Um, I know Surf's is like around five, but here I can't really get them for five. Six fifty is all I paid for this one. This one will probably sell for around twenty-five plus ship, just based off the pattern. Um, so that's really what I take account to: pattern on Ralph Lauren, sizes on Ralph Lauren, embroideries on Ralph Lauren, um, and fabric. If that was like a linen blend, that would drive up the price a little bit more. It'd probably be around thirty-five dollars based off the pattern, the size, the label, and the fabric. Right? Did I say that right? I think I said that right. Oh, Wayne, question for you. What's up, Trisha? Um, I wish you could find more Aftco. Um, they're so good. I passed on one today, I think. I think I passed on one. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, whoops. Um, next up, 3X, no, oh, is it 3XB? Yeah, 3XB, Ralph Lauren. Like, this is, this is money. Um, it's a great size. It's a great print. It's on season, so these are going to start selling super fast. This is a piece that I would price up way higher than that $22.99 buy cost. And let me see is, if this is feels like it's linen hang on this is linen it's worth even more yeah it's a hundred percent linen this is worth even more this this is like an easy like 40 50 60 bucks um i'll do some comps on this one but it's a great size it's a great print it's a great fabric it's got literally everything check 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 on that piece crazy piece Blue lemon for fishing okay i'll have to look those up i always pass on those but it's because i don't know everything i missed that by chance do you know Shut up. I'm not reading that. How much do plain color Ralph Lauren's go for? If I buy those, it's typically around $5. Um, they have to be a newer label. The fabric, again, matters on those. But if it's just a plain one, it's around $20 plus ship. Um, has to be like in minty condition, though. Next up, Canali is not a great dress shirt brand to pick up. But this is an example of something that you have to look up a little deeper into this item. Um, so I paid up, I paid $12.50 for this. Again, solid white Canali shirts. Typically I don't pay anywhere more than $5 for and they do sit forever. But this one's a little different because this one is a men's tuxedo shirt. So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's got all those little ruffles on the front. That is a tuxedo shirt. If you look these up, there's some of these selling for like 80 bucks. These are much more rare than your typical, just solid, solid white Canali shirts. That's why they sell for a little bit more. So make sure you're looking them up. Um, Canali tuxedo shirts. I'm going to list that one for $80 plus shipping and see what comes in or what kind of offers come in. Basic AFCOs might sell low, um, but the one with the hood. Okay, cool. I'll have to look. I think I passed on like an AFCO, just a, a regular short sleeve fishing shirt today. So now I don't feel as bad. Uh, let me make sure I don't miss anybody on IG real quick. Um, I don't think I did. All right. If I missed your question, feel free to ask it again. Um, I'm looking at two screens and trying to talk about the item. So if I miss your question, I apologize. I'm not doing it on purpose. Um, feel free to ask it again. Picked up the tuxedo shirt earlier. Yes, in the live thrift. Again, the live thrift is up on YouTube. You can watch at any time. It's already posted. Half off, so I paid $17.50 for this. A little bit high, but this is a Lululemon. Um, I might keep this for myself. Uh, here's their little logo right there. Lululemon logo. I might keep this for myself. Is it, if it is my size, actually it is my size. I know it's my size. Um, so this one's staying with me and then come next winter season, if I want to sell it, I'll sell it. Um, but yeah, I'll keep that. Don't tell Kayla I kept something. Okay. Cause then, then she'll want to keep something. Don't tell Kayla. Everybody be quiet. That's a secret between me and you. Um, you should stream yard or multi streamer. I, I do. I have, um, it's called, it's not StreamYard, it's called Restream. So right now, Facebook and YouTube are on one screen. The chats are on one um, screen. I don't know if I can share this, actually. 
Can I share this? Nope, I can't share this. I can share my window. Boom. See? Boom. Everything's on one one screen. So I can see all your guys' chats on this side. And now it looks weird. Ooh. But yeah, everything's on um, everything's on restream. Easy peasy. But then on um, I keep uh, Instagram. I used to have TikTok on my phone over here, but now I have Instagram on my phone because it just looks better on Instagram when you use a phone. Boom. What's up, Surfs? Surfs, are you playing tonight or are you gonna cop out? You're gonna cop out. Amy has an important question. Amy, I don't wanna hear it from you. Amy, I don't wanna hear it from you. $10, um, paid up a little bit for this, but this is an Eddie Bauer down vest. So it's down feather fill vest. Um, this is probably gonna go into storage and get listed um, next year. This is not only a down vest, but like I said, you gotta look a little deeper into things. This one is a 3XL tall. So it's not only a great size, it's not only a decent brand, Eddie Bauer is not a great brand. It's down, a vest. I still might list this actually, this might sell. I'm gonna list this. Um, $10, just a no brainer, good size, Eddie Bauer down. Especially the Eddie Bauer down jackets, the like puffer jackets that look like North Face 550 fills, those sell like hotcakes too. You can get around a hundred bucks for those. So that one, I'm probably gonna get somewhere between 50 to hundred bucks, somewhere in between those two numbers. Should sell for around that. Geez, you're right. Shut up. Shut up. Just because you guys are modded does not mean I can't ban you too. Uh, next up, L.L. Bean. Another one. Just a simple pair of L.L. Bean flannel line jeans. $8. Easy, easy item right here. Surf's is over on Facebook. Surf's on Facebook. Um, what is that about the Columbia PFG 6X shirts? I heard, oh gosh, waxing. Columbia PFG 6X shirts. If you find a Columbia PFG 6X short sleeve or long sleeve shirt, it's a pickup, okay? If you go look them up on eBay, I think there's currently one listed and there's 15 sold, which means it has a 1,500% sell through rate. Um, so pick them up. Trisha sold one super fast. Then she decided to text me and say, look, Columbia sells. And then I looked it up myself and I was like, holy cow, Columbia 6X have a crazy good sell through rate. Big and tall sizes, big and tall sizes. Sometimes even a shitty brand like Columbia will sell because it's a big and tall size. So, what's up, TJ? Who taught you that? Um, unfortunately, Trisha did. Again, don't tell Barry that there is a Columbia that actually sells because I'll have to hear about him, about that from him for forever. So, feel free to ask some questions. That's it for the live thrift haul. That was the last piece. We ended on a kind of crappy piece, but pre uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. If you have any last minute questions, drop them down in the chat. Um, again, if you missed the live thrift, it is up on YouTube. All live thrifts will be done on Wednesday on YouTube from here on out because I can't go live on TikTok. We moved them over to YouTube. We had a really good crowd today, a lot of new people in the chat today. Um, so it was a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to the next live thrift. I might even do some more live thrifts um, throughout the week. I'm thinking about going to Salvation Army next Tuesday and doing uh, like a live thrift there. Eat on both YouTube and I'm going to try to do one on Facebook too because I want to test out Facebook um, live algorithm. So where's Kayla? She's sleeping. She didn't really find much women's items today, so she got the night off. I, I went ahead and showed off the Spanx new with tags. Yeah. Um, sh 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 I'm still waiting for that question. I think I answered it. Um, wait, what is about a Columbia 6? Uh, I heard a lot about them. The Columbia 6X PFG shirts have a 1500% sell through rate. Pick up the pick up the six X's. That's the only one you pick up. That's the only Columbia piece that ever will sell for you. Um, what time tomorrow? What time tomorrow? What do you mean? What time tomorrow, Kim? I won't be. I'll be live in the morning. Mm, I might be live shipping in the morning. We have some something to do tomorrow, so I might not be able to do a shipping live. We'll see. If not, I'll be live on all platforms tomorrow. What's up, Bree? Bree, you changed your name to R. Um, there's a sale this weekend. Sale where this weekend? Um, where'd your name of your channel come from? Good question. So it's K Way Shop. Uh, my wife's name is Kayla. My name is Wayne. So you got K Way and then Shop because we, you know, sell stuff online. So yeah, will you be live tomorrow in the morning? Possibly shipping live. Um, if not, it's tomorrow Thursday. I might do a nightly live tomorrow if I don't do a morning live. What's up, Blended? Blended. I got your stuff. I got you. I don't know if you messaged me on IG, but I got you. But yeah, Kway Shop is the, is my my name, my wife's name combined, and then shop at the end. And it rhymes, so it's easy to, for everybody to remember. If you're making a reselling channel, my suggestion is do not put thrifts or reseller at the end of your name. 
I think everybody does it. It's like a common thing. Try to do a little something a little different. I think Kway Shop. There's nobody with shop at the end of their name. Um, not that I saw. So it set myself out from the crowd. Craziest find in 2024 so far. Ooh, I don't know that answer. Craziest find in 2024 so far. What's something that I found? Um. It's probably one of those Ralph Lauren purple label suits. I found a couple of them in the beginning of this year, like in January at um, at Red, White, and Blue for four bucks a piece. That was probably my best like high dollar find. Um, I've been picking up a lot of bread and butter lately, so haven't had too many like real big scores, but that's probably my best one. Like Bearded Thrifter and Tokyo Thrifts, yeah, all those. And then don't put underscores in your name either. <laughs> I, think, I think that's tacky too. <laughs> if you put an underscore in your name, I'm like, come on, just put it all together. Why put an underscore in there? Um, mine is going to be Amy shops. There you go. Amy shops. I like it. It's a nice Amy shops. You don't have to, it doesn't, it doesn't limit yourself to just thrifting. Cause if you go to a retail store, Amy, you could shop there and you could do content on there. It wouldn't just be thrifts. And then what if, what if you, uh, what if you decide to do something else on your channel? It, it wouldn't make sense. Um, we're starting a channel on whatnot and our name is going to be Antonio basement because I'm clearing out my basement. That's a good name. Antonio basement. I like it. It sets yourself out from the crowd. What about big apple picker? He's just a handsome fellow. There's nothing he can do wrong. Um, ladybug buys. There you go. You can't, you can't go wrong with buys at the end of your name because no matter what you buy, it applies to that name. Amy shops underscore. God, I hate you, Amy. <laughs> I hate you. What's the difference between old and new polo tags? I can't tell on the screen um let me see if i can find them uh, hold on let me find an older tag i know i have one here here's an older tag older tag and newer tag so here's your newer tag it's just a different print on it there's your newer tag see that got the yellow lettering on it looks newer looks fresher and then here's the older tag. It's the white silverish um, lettering. That is your older tag for polo. There's also older tags than that too, um, but that's just the most common ones that you'll see out there. So, all right, everybody. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head off. Again, I might be live tomorrow morning shipping out orders. If not, I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow night. No lot, uh, no uh, whatnot show tomorrow. Whatnot show is gonna be Friday, Saturday this weekend. Um, big shows, so make sure you go bookmark. Lots of giveaways, lots of really, really good stuff. Um, so make sure you come hang out. Also, if you missed the live thrift, again, it is posted on YouTube. Go go uh, like it. Go show it some love. Comment. Do all that stuff on it. And again, appreciate you guys coming out and supporting on YouTube today. It meant a lot to me to go live on another platform and see so many people from TikTok coming on over, so many people from Facebook coming on over and showing support. Um, those live thrifts will continue on YouTube for weeks and weeks and weeks to come every single Wednesday unless otherwise posted. Um, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you're there. This week, I'm actually going to set up the live early so you guys can hit the bell notification on it and you'll get a notification as soon as it goes live. So I'm going to set that up later on this week, um, probably like the weekend, maybe on Friday and Saturday, I'll have that set up. So you can hit that bell. As soon as they go live, you'll get a notification. That's the cool thing about um, YouTube is you can do that. So appreciate you guys hanging out. Catch you on the next one. Peace.